hello YouTube and welcome to your fifth Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at something called popup.html file which we already downloaded in tutorial 1 or 2 I guess and in the manifest.json this file is declared as default popup now this is a kind of regular HTML file which you can code with styles or scripts or whatever you like to but with a couple of exceptions now what they are I'll tell you right now these files actually load up when the user clicks on your button in the toolbar just like regular HTML5 file and you can just expand the size, the height, the width, font size, colors etc with all that CSS you want to do now what's the difference between this file and a regular HTML file in a Chrome document is that this file has certain permissions which are basically superior to the the regular HTML files this file right in here has certain more permissions like loading restricted documents from sites like reddit and facebook and where you cannot actually access the page directly so to demonstrate that i have a jquery file which basically just loads the jquery file right here and i would perform a get request to red reddit i don't know what that was okay so <coughs> I'll perform a get request to the site reddit and once we do that I get this error that XML HTTP cannot load this page and this header is not present so that is why so this header is basically okay the headers are basically if you don't know these are some kind of extra information which comes from server to the browser so if you don't know head about headers then no need to worry we'll be not going deep into headers in this series just for this tutorial for sake of understanding so these are headers and as you see there is no this header present right here so we cannot load cross domain documents with the help of jquery for example reddit can load itself but we cannot load reddit from another domain as you can see the XML request is successful on reddit.com itself but it is unsuccessful if we we'll try to load it on a different protocol or domain <coughs> so what I want to tell you is that that under this extension we can actually load such documents and basically loosen the strictness of browser this error popped up because of browser block this XML HTTP request so we can actually stop the browser or say that please allow us to access this page because I'm an extension and the browser will allow us access so regarding this application I created one extension recently for my client on reddit itself and that's why I was telling you the story which basically retrieves the first page of reddit and this is the extension and if I click on this as you can see I get the first page from reddit and if you try to view the source code of this page then right here in the popup.js file in this popup.js file right here I'm just doing a simple get request with the mobile version of reddit and you will wonder how it is allowing me to do get request with an extension but it is blocked on a regular HTML page so let's try to open the manifest file of this reddit and I guess I have this folder down here and this is the manifest file of my extension and what it says in the content security policy is that allow this file reddit static to access the this page and run scripts from it 
but what is more important that in the permission section we have all URLs defined so basically you cannot access any URL with the help of JavaScript or jQuery or any other library in your extension especially unless you have this permission defined to show to user so this was the first difference between a regular HTML file and the pop-up file and the second difference is that you cannot run inline JavaScript in a pop-up file for example I guess I told you this thing in earlier tutorial as well I don't remember but never mind uh, we have got this inline JavaScript and if I try to show this then as you see the alert box does not appear and console log would log an error as you see refuse to execute inline script because it violates the content secure policy so basically you cannot execute inline scripts in JavaScript you have to load every file locally or with the help of URL in this popup.html file the rest is almost same you have access to a couple of APIs in this popup.html file as well and the rest is almost same and you can use any file like jQuery or your own JavaScript and type content here style with CSS JavaScript jQuery and all that stuff you do with a regular HTML file so this was a quick short tutorial on popup.html file and in the next tutorials we'll be creating a cool extension and we'll be starting off with basics of extension and how they work and we'll be looking at a lot more so stay tuned with me and thanks for watching this tutorial